Hello everyone, now welcome back again to my channel. Now it's been a while that I actually didn't upload video. Uh, I guess about a couple of weeks. And uh, because it's winter, so it's nothing much. It's really, really quiet. And what we're gonna do for the winter normally, we just have to check the bees. And I fed them a few weeks ago uh, with pollen patties and sugar syrup. And now we're gonna check the uh, the health state of uh, of a bee to see whether or not they can survive through the winter. Now, unlike last season, which I think I made a mistake by splitting them too light, so the queen doesn't really have power to pump in eggs into the winter. So I guess that is the main cause to have my die. I mean, my my hive died. Now looking at them today, I mean it's 14 Celsius now. Well, they're still flying in and out and gathering some some pollen. So I have my new gadget, which is a little little chair, where it allows me to actually sit here and uh, inspect the hive throughout. Um, because I've been kneeling every time, and health and safety reason. I cannot have that kind of uh, working conditions anymore, so I have to need a chair uh, over here. So we're going to inspect all these hives today and we're going to check the pollen count, we're going to check the sugar syrup or the honey store and we're going to check the size of a bees. Now, but the pollen patty will actually feed them through uh, and keep them you know, happy, keep them surviving so that they don't really burn through much of the calories of um, of energy throughout the winter so that they actually keep them keep them going uh, 60, 70, I mean 60 to 90 days of uh, lifespan of a bees is, is quite common uh, for, for for winter so right let's get into it uh, without wasting any time and I need to do it for hive so it's quite a bit of work now okay I'll update you guys if I see anything interesting Okay, now let's take a look. Now you can see the bees is less active now because of, you know, of the coldness. And then the bee size is all right. And there's a lots of plenty of honey store. So um, happy with it. Happy with these first, first hive. And then we'll, we'll double check the queen and make sure that she's all right. And then we, we're good to go. Next week we're ready for a real winter. Well, we're looking at hive number two at the moment. So good pollen count, good honey store. And most importantly, we have the queen still pumping eggs. So um, that's a good sign. And I have these really beautiful brood. And it's all now been covered by the bees because of the corners, I think. So yeah, so really happy with it. We really have a little bee population so far. So should be all right. Well, finger think of course. And I'll just continue to inspect uh, the other two. All right, so we've done all that worked. Um, as we basically check all these hive, and luckily all of them are still laying at this stage, so no group break just yet. Um, healthy, healthy, healthy food of pollen or we'll just have to feed this one and the second one on the right and on, on the little bit of poor pollen there and the first one my anchor hive still got a little bit of mites issued in there but not many i've not seen many maybe just just half or maybe a, a brute a brute frames of uh, of mites uh some deformed wings stay in there uh, detected but Hopefully the bees number can actually cover all the way through to to, to winter. And we, we all know uh, this year is, is, is pretty bad year for, for mites problems. Uh, where we have like mainly two, three treatments per, per year. Well, two synthetic treatment doesn't really work that well in some area now. And and resistance has been, uh, been built up by, by the mites. So they, they're getting stronger so we need more treatment so and people just just left the industry because of, of you know the cost is, is, is a bit too too much for them to 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 cover 
so hopefully finger crossed starting from next season we will have a full healthy strong hive to to start with and today is about 15 celsius so 15 degrees so we can see the bees is is um, flying in and out uh, and, 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 and gathering pollen I'm not sure whether it's still got pollen nearby I, I've seen some but not many uh, just because of you know the rains you know the, the, the crazy weather uh, in, in New Zealand these days we've got cyclones up there and we've got you know tons of rains uh, this season down here in Christchurch as well well I think we cover mostly uh, what we've done this season so far from uh, splitting newts um, taking care of bees and now we're wintering down and honey harvesting we, we cover a lot uh, and, and thank you for support uh, throughout the season and, and definitely like you guys um, and I will definitely share more and next season if I have some interesting things uh, coming up uh yeah we might need to shoot off maybe to another site you know sometimes in in june because we've been locating uh two sites uh the owner's quite interested to put the put the hive in the in the farm so we might actually start with these two little strong hive uh to you know relocate them to the other area and, and see how they perform uh over over the periods uh, starting next season so we, we'll start some uh, site inspections uh beforehand before we do that and then we'll, we'll basically come back and, and cover that and remember like and subscribe guys and i'll definitely update you guys once more and sorry for all these late you know delays and update you know it's a busy season previously but not anymore it's been quiet now i'll see you guys later see ya ciao